Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about solving problems involving properties of parallelogram. Before I start discussing this kind of topic, shoutout nga pala kay Lance Miguel, isa sa mga super supportive nating follower and viewer sa YouTube saka sa Facebook. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Goin. Let's do this topic. So basically guys, we have here a given set of problems. Ito yung set of problem natin. We're in, ito ay mag-revolve lang sa mga properties ng parallelogram. So, ano yung basic tip ko magbibigay sa inyo in this kind of problem kapag na-encounter nyo sa inyong studies? So, punta muna natin yung given natin. We have AB, which is equivalent to 3x minus 5 centimeters. Tapos yung BC natin is equal to 2y minus 7 centimeters. Yung CD is equivalent to X plus 7 centimeters and your AD is represented by Y plus 3 centimeters. So sa gantong problem kasi ang ginagawa ko dito pag ako nag-resolve, iniisip po muna, anong part or parts ng figure yung given? So analyzing this given set of problem or this given measurements, AB, BC, CD, and AD are all the sides of this given parallelogram. So lagyan natin label para clear tayo. Your AB is represented by 3x minus 5 centimeters, while your BC, yung BC natin, ito yung BC, is 2y minus 7 centimeters, and your CD, ito yung CD, this is x plus 7 centimeters, while this one is represented by y plus 3 centimeters. Ngayon, to solve this problem, Ang isipin niyo ay anong property ng parallelogram ang nag-focus sa sides ng parallelogram. Meron tayong property din that um, opposite sides are congruent. So kung alam niyo yung property na yun, you can answer this set of problems. So let's move on with item number one. Item number one, it says here, or ito yung question natin, what is the value of x? As you can see, yung, mga, yung x variable natin ay nandito sa AB, side AB, and side BC. So, kung i-analyze yung given figure natin, side AB is opposite to your side DC in which, in our property, it says there na opposite sides are congruent. So, to solve this and to find the value of X, we can construct a, an equation in which, since they are congruent, we can say that 3X minus 5 is equal to X plus 7. Since they are congruent, Ibig sabihin yung 3x minus 5 is equal to x plus 7 natin. Okay? And in solving this, we can transpose this one. Combine like terms. We have 3x minus x. At ito naman negative 5 natin, it transpose natin sa kabila. It will become positive 5. In which we have 3x minus x is equal to 7 plus 5. And simplifying this equation, it will give you 2x is equal to 12. Dividing both sides by 2, your x is equal to 6. If, ito yung, sorry, uh, ito na yung x natin. So this is your answer for letter A. x is equal to 6. Okay? So 6. Ngayon, ang tanong dito ngayon, how long is AB? Again, how long is AB? Remember that your AB is represented by this one. Your AB is equal to 3x minus 5 centimeters. Again, 3x minus 5 centimeters. So substituting the value of x, which is 6, substitute natin dito, it will give us 3 times 6, ganito yung ano dito bracket, minus 5. Centimeters and simplifying this, it will give you 18 minus 5 centimeters, wherein this is equivalent to 13 centimeters. Your AB right now is 13 centimeters. So ito daw ay 13 centimeters. Okay? Ito ngayon yung sagot natin for item number 2. 
13 centimeters. Okay? Since we are done in solving item number 1, a letter A and letter B, let's move on with letter C. Sabi dito, what is the value of Y? So, punta natin yung given figure natin at kung mapapansin nyo that the variables Y ay nakalagay sa ating side AB and AB where in they're also uh, opposite sides meaning they are congruent in which we can create an equation like this your Y plus 3 is equal to 2Y minus 7. Again, ganyan yung equation natin kasi yung dalawang side na to ay equal. So, yung representation nila ay equal din. Now, to solve for the value of y, we can transpose y to the other side of the equation and it will give you 2y minus 1. Kaya natin ginagawa yan kasi combine like terms. And this negative 7, it transpose natin sa kabila din in which it will give you 7 plus 3. And simplifying this equation, this will give you y is equal to 10. Meaning the value of y is equal to 10. Your y here is equal to 10. At ituloy-tuloy na natin. Ngayon, ang tanong dito sa letter D natin, how long is AD? So yung AD natin is here. And as you can see, yung AD natin, punta natin dito, your AD is represented by y plus 3 centimeters. We're in, para masolve natin yan, we can substitute the value of y here sa ating representation. And it will give you 10 plus 3 centimeters. And there you have it. Your AD is equivalent to 13 centimeters. Ito na ngayon yung value ng ating AD. Your AD is equivalent to 13 centimeters. Tama ba? 13 centimeters. Yan, 13 centimeters. Since okay na tayo sa mga sides natin, uh, di ba sabi natin dito, we have AB, which is 13. Ito siya, AB. Um, ito naman dito sa ating, yung AD is 13. Also 13 centimeters. Okay? Ngayon, sa problem number 5 kasi natin, sabi dito, what is the perimeter of parallelogram ABCD? Para makuha natin yung perimeter ng, ng parallelogram A, B, C, D natin, we need to add the measurements or the length of the four sides ng parallelogram natin. So, this is 13, meaning this is also 13. 13 din yan. And if this is 13, we can say that B, C is also 13 centimeters. Wherein, para mo kayong perimeter nito, all you need to do is to add those measurements. You have 13 centimeters plus 13 centimeters plus 13 centimeters plus 13 centimeters, it will give you the perimeter of 52 centimeters. Ito na yun yung perimeter ng given parallelogram. Now, if you're new to my channel, kung meron kayong uh, suggestion or gusto niyong topic na discuss natin within this um, YouTube channel, uh, pwede kayong mag-comment down below. And kung meron kayong question about sa ating solution, pwede kayong magtalong sa ating comment section. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!